Moon Knight issue 17. We're getting there, folks. The past couple of Moon Knight runs could not make it past this threshold. It looks like we're at least going to make it to 18. Will they pull the rug out from underneath us? Who's to say? I don't think so. I can't explain it, but this book is selling well. I don't know why. Weird that we live in this era, but it's doing good. That's awesome. So it's kind of fun that this book is able to go all over the place. Like this is a pretty, pretty easy issue in terms of just like the story. You understand it well. It's kind of just like, here's the penultimate one. Let's build up to what we're about to do in the finale to this arc. And that's kind of cool. I, I respect the book for that. It's not trying to be anything over the top or dramatic. It's just, here's the vampire arc. And when we're coming off of two pretty big issues, including the annual, where it's like, hey, werewolves, Marlene. It's like, okay, whoa. <laughs> you know, like, we get that. And the one before this, too, where it's all, like, the information on what the tutor is doing. We don't have to do too much in this issue. Not to say things don't happen in this book, but it's pretty much just like, okay, fight time. <laughs> it's not even a fight time. So... Tigress shows up in this issue, and she's there with Mark. They're looking at the dead body of Dr. Badir, Hunter's Moon. She's like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go fight some vampires. They won't be hard to find. They have a big gala coming up, and we're going to go kick some ass. Let's do it. We can go get them. Namine and Grand Mall. We can go kick their asses and get it done. Mark's like, no. This one, Tigra, this, is one, this one is going to take me somewhere you can't follow. And what happens? Mark just... Kicks the shit out of Grandma in the mean for a bit. That's the book. They're trying to track him down. He changed them up somehow, drags him across the street for a bit. He's like, you, I'm going to show you why people are afraid of me. Don't you worry. You're going to see the fear that I strike into the hearts of people. They're like, what? We killed your sidekick. We don't care about you. He's like, oh, you'll try to kill me? Bring it on. Let's see what you got. Get into some scrapes. What they don't realize is that Moon Knight has dragged them into the Midnight Mission, which we know from issue 10 is now a living haunted house. So what does that mean? We're going to fuck around and screw these people up a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's mess them up. We start like scaring Grand Mall with like the idea of Carnelia, like this place that has a difficult history, a history of war and violence that messed her up and made her do all these different things and then boom she is like surrounded by skeletons in this ever falling cavern and she's struggling to get up while she's just like attacked and then you see Namine is just like running away from falling pillars trying to kill him and gets collapsed because he's in like a graveyard and he's buried on like a mountain of skeletons and scarabs are crawling into his mouth now I'm gonna read a little bit into the scarab stuff and, and say maybe we're gonna be getting a scarlet scarab thing in this run you know it doesn't say anything about that there's no tease for that but i just wouldn't be surprised if that is what happened very fun they're okay and then they just throw up because holy shit what did we just go through and guess what they're now kneeling in front of moon knight who's like be welcome be welcome supplicants and he is sitting on his throne looking badass like hey you're in my domain now, bitches. What do you want from me? You want to fight me some again? And they're freaking out like, don't make us do that again. We can't have that. Please stop. We'll give you whatever you want. He's like, I don't care. I don't care about you. I don't care about any of this. One thing I do care about, though, is the research you said you did about me. You think Hunter's Moon was my sidekick? Well, he's my brother. He's a fist to conch you. Fists don't die, baby. And guess what? Hunter's Moon's just standing behind him. Now, here's the thing with that. Is he alive or is this just like, hey, hey, it's the Hunter's Moon. He's alive in here because we made him possible in here. They don't say. I don't know. Like, that's the thing. He Because he brought the body back with him somewhere. So maybe Badir is going to heal. I don't think Jed would kill this character off right away, but I guess we'll see. It could happen. I'm not saying it wouldn't happen. I'm just I just don't think we'd kill this character so early on in the run of this series. Because he's cool, because he's fun, because he's a cool, written character. And then it's the next night. The tutor is here in a big ballroom with dark lighting, talking to all the vampires of the world. We got them from the Sasabonsum, the, Zhe the Zheangzi, you know, all, just a bunch of places, including the vampire nation of Chernobyl. Of course, Vlad Dracul could not show up, because why would he? This is stupid. Blade's got a book coming out called Vampire Nation, so he's going to be off doing that shit. 
which I I don't imagine that's going to connect into the Moon Knight stuff. I guess we'll see. If it does, maybe I'll talk about it. But Tyr's like, come on, guys. We did it. We made it this far. We're freaking awesome. It's the modern centuries, baby. We need a new, like, postmodern vampiric organization. I have a very cool idea in mind. It's going to be fun. We're just going to, we're just gonna, like, we're going to take over the world slowly. Guys, you got to trust me. You might not know me too well. I'm just some weird guy. But trust me when I say I'm going to make sure the vampire nation survives forever and everybody is going to be happy, healthy, and horny, baby. That's what we're going to do. And then suddenly, chained up Grand Mall and the Mean crash through the ceiling, just flat on the ground on the stage in front of the tutor. And who walks in but people who are like, hey, I guess we're kind of a vampire nation if we made our own vampires. Isn't it customary to show up to a party with presents? So let's party, baby. Super sexy Tigra and Mr. Knight just walking in. Power couple attitude. So hot and sexy. and I love it. Look at them. Look at those cute people. You know, that's a, that's a power couple. I want them as my parents. <laughs> They're just so adorable. It's like, it's such a weird pairing. But when you think about it, okay, I guess it's fun. You know, it's such like a golden age kind of story where it's like the tiger lady kissed the moon man. And now it's like, what if they were just about to like dress up and burst through the walls of a stupid vampire cult meeting? Yeah, I'm on board. So you're telling me the next issue is going to be Mark and Greer fighting some vampires? I'm on board. You got me hooked up. And that's the issue. It's not a lot. A lot of this is the styling of the artwork because a lot of the panels have like a couple words on them. You could get through it pretty fast. But again, Capuccio is a stunning artist. You're looking at some beautiful work. The colors are so good in this book. It's one of the best colored books out there. Please check it out for that. And again, something about Moon Knight making it to issue 17, being like in the top 10 books selling any month it comes out, it's special. It's something we're not probably going to see again in our lifetime. And that's the thing, like, I don't know how long Jed's going to be going on this book, but it's going to be an extremely hard task to be the person that follows up this run. It can be done, but it's going to be a challenge. So maybe they're going to keep it going forever. And you know what? Why wouldn't you? It's great. It's good Moon Knight, and that's impressive. I dig it a lot. Now, I guess my one criticism is on the cover, Moon Knight is fighting a lion, I mean. And he doesn't fight like an actual lion in here. But whatever. It still looks great. It's fun just to see them. We're going to the haunted house to scare you. I love that. I love that. This book has been fantastic. So Moon Knight issue 17. I am going to give an 8 out of 10. And thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.